New tackles for a new age. Let's burn through that. I'm Dax. And I'm Nick. And welcome to the Call Room, our YouTube rugby chat show. So, before we dive into the hot topic of rugby right now, first let's congratulate Japan. Putting 30 points up on the All Blacks is quite an achievement for Japanese rugby, so well done to them. Yeah. Excellent uh, rugby building up to the World Cup next mm -hmm. year, so good stuff happening Pretty there. Pretty cool that uh, their the run in the Super Rugby Championship is not for naught. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so let's move on to the big talking, the big point. talking points. Now, long and short of this, we can, let's just get this out of the way. Slavka lost the game for themselves. Way too many handling areas, not finishing, not critical. It should have been a 20 point difference at half time. Yeah, not, line, yeah uh, our line outs were atrocious. Uh, deciding to go for, for line outs when they're misfiring, maybe we should have gone for the scrums, which were like right there and like in England's face. I mean, we could have finished them off in the first half. But besides the points, what we want to talk about is apparently the new tackling style that World Rugby is adopting. Um, and this was highlighted by Owen Farrell on. Um, from the South African centre, name Andre Este. Uh, no, thank you. His name escaped me for a second. Um, <laughs> so let's just before we dive into that, let's just all acknowledge that there should have been a penalty at the end. Yes. Not not for the specific tackle I'm referencing. But well, that George North. One. No, it's not George North. Johnny May was five meters was offside. offside before that. In the face before that. He then also high tackled Jesse Creel in the face before. But that, that. before that. And then there was the Farrell tackle. Which, let's be honest, was a penalty regardless of what colour you slice it. So, now all the British supporters and you know, all the neutrals in the world are saying that it was a legitimate tackle, it wasn't a high tackle. Yes, it wasn't a high tackle. The impact was clearly in the chest area, which by definition of the law is not a high tackle as that is shoulder and up. So, that out of the way. The However, definition. However, it is still a dangerous tackle. He led with the shoulder. Mm -hmm. That is illegal. You have to attempt to wrap your arms around in a graceful hug. Okay? You don't just lead with the shoulder. The shoulder is one of the hardest parts of your body, mm -hmm. and that is why it is deemed a dangerous tackle. Yeah. It can seriously injure someone. Especially when you're hitting a guy in this kind of area, which is kind of like the solar plexus area. I mean, you hit a guy wrong in any of those places, you could stop his heart, or at least get his heartbeat irregular, you can st stop him breathing and look, let's, let's, re let's remember here World Rugby is trying to remove all the dangerousness out of rugby I mean forget the fact that it's a contact sport people they're trying to remove that, that unnecessary dangerous stuff mm. and this is one of them so the reason why this is so controversial is the referee said it was okay. Mm -hmm. The TMO said it okay. The citing commissioner did not cite Owen Farrell after the fact, which clearly saying that he thinks it okay, and World Rugby refuses to comment on this, which is implying that they think it's okay. Mm -hmm. Apparently, we are now allowed to shoulder charge people as long as it's below the shoulder. Correct. And this was highlighted by coach of South Africa, Rusty Rasmus, in the post-match press conference, where he very sarcastically said that I'm going to train my players how to tackle like this because well, apparently it's legal. Well, he says, uh, no sarcasm, he actually said at the end of the conference, no sarcasm at all, but he did say to stop a six foot two, hundred ki odd kilogram center running at you, that's an effective way to tackle. So he's going to teach his players how to do that. No and, sarcasm. And he did just that. Video uh, service <laughs> of the training session in France yep. of uh, Rassi Erasmus and, and Ninaba and Jacques Ninaba, yeah, the defense coach for South Africa. Busy showing Andre. Andre Esterhessen. <laughs> so I'm going to overlay this while we discuss it. So so, uh, so we see the three uh, walking towards the uh, tackle bag. So a tackle bag is essentially a big punching bag that is like free floating basically. So we see um, uh, Erasmus clearly saying, okay, I want you to tackle this, tackle it nice and yep. hard. We just so, Esther is lining up and Tex legitimate tackle. Textbook with tackle. Textbook yeah. tackle. That's what you want every grassroots player to do. Tackle low, yeah. wrap your arm around. But no, apparently, no, Russell not isn't happy with this. Not higher. too low. Come, try again. So, a little bit higher, but no, we're still seeing the shaking of the head. No, no not high enough. That's not high enough. You need to really hit the, the player higher. I love, I love this because 
what happens now is he starts showing that you've got to tuck the arm a little bit yeah, you don't before the yeah. contact. You've got to tuck the arm. And, and boom, boom. Picture perfect, right in the sternum. And everyone's saying, well done, well done. Well done. done. Brilliant, so, brilliant. Esther has been walking off like uh, he's just uh, won the World Heavyweight title. He's just learned a new tackle method, essentially. Yeah. So, <laughs> the, the reason why this video, no one really knows who made this video. It kind of just popped up. Uh, popped up. I the, bet you it's the guy's hazing for uh, Esther. I, I, I rate it. It's probably like Pollard or someone just yeah, sitting at the yeah. back there, you know, with his phone. But it happened after the training session, so all the press had left. Yeah. So it definitely wasn't any of the press. Um, my personal belief is that Erasmus, due to the lack of um, clarity. clarity from World Rugby whatsoever about this tackle situation, mm -hmm. he's trying to goad World Rugby into response. And yeah. I think the most public way that he's seeing this play out is social, media. is social media. And this is one of the tools he's using, where he is essentially training his players to tackle illegally or, or just deemed now illegal due to silence because yeah, si silence is as good as acceptance, right? Yeah, and, and and this is the problem that a lot of us are, that a lot of us are facing. I mean, we've got a we've got a, a former British player. Uh, I saw on News Twenty Four actually state that that's penalty at minimum. Um, we got uh, Andre Watson, who was a former uh, South African referee and one of the, the most renowned referees in the world, actually said. Not red card threshold, but possible yellow card and a penalty, which is true. And you also had Jonathan Kaplan, world renowned referee, also coming out saying, yes, it's a penalty. Yeah, so, I mean, it's a dangerous tackle. And you know, like I said, like we've been saying, you know, a, a, a leading with the shoulder is dangerous. I mean, what if Esther has ducked into the tackle and, and caught him in the jaw or the neck or anywhere in the face? I mean, that's broken cheekbones. That can be concussion or other serious repercussions. I mean, the impact was, if you saw it at full speed, that was a hard, hard hit. And if we look, put it in even bigger context, if we look a few weeks before in the Aviva Premiership, Danny Cibriani, arguably the British public's first choice fly half for England, mm -hmm. did a very similar tackle. In red a, carded. And he was red carded and had a four week ban. Uh, 2014, I think it was, the British and Irish Science Tour of New Zealand. Sonny Bill Williams sent off for a yellow card with, with almost Very a similar, similar tackle. tackle. Um, and let's let's hypothetically say that Bucky Sporter was still playing and mm. he was the one who did this tackle. That would have been a minimum six week sanction for him. Yeah, I mean, we talk about the Pacific Islanders as well because they, they're also very abrasive tacklers like that. If it was one of the Islanders, that, that's also a sanction. Um, it, it baffles me that well, well, one, the linesman didn't pick up on a high tackle or the offside, yeah. which is atrocious officiating. That that needs to be sorted out before the next World Cup. The sighting commissioner, the on-field referee, and the drinking TMO, but all said it was fine. You've got all the technology that we are watching from, and if you come to the decision that that was not a dangerous tackle, then what are you doing officiating in an international match? And then, to I be would, quite honest, I would even go as far as to suggest that even Eddie Jones knew it was illegal because, in a press conference this week, he speculated that the future of rugby would have to be two referees on the field to see everything. Now, why would he speculate about that if he didn't acknowledge that some mistakes were made in those last plays of the game? Mm. Owen Farrell himself has said he was very nervous when it was sent up he to the TMO. He knew he got away with murder. That fist pump afterwards, he knew he got away with murder. Let's just face it. So Let's just face facts. If we face facts, it was an illegal tackle. No argument there. You know what, if you want to argue, argue, you can comment down and we will cite the World Rugby Laws which states that you cannot lead with a shoulder. It is Correct. dangerous. No matter where you hit the player. If you hit the player mid -shot, uh, thigh, ooh, mid thigh, Thigh. Mitch thigh with the folder, with the shoulder, <laughs> folder shoulder. Uh, awesome. It is also a dangerous tackle. Yeah, I mean they call it uh, they call it the grass cutter where you take out a guy's legs without even using any arms. I mean that's the other card sanction immediately. So no matter where you hit someone, if you leave with a shoulder, it's illegal. N no go zone. I mean you have to wrap your arms. And if you are young rugby players watching the show, 
please make sure that you take care of the person you're tackling. Yes, you want to stop them. Yes, you are trying to win over possession or territory. But player safety comes first, please, guys. And on that public health method, a method, oh, my, my speech. Public my, health note. My method speaks it. Um, we have to thank you for watching the video. Mm. Like it, subscribe if you haven't. We have a new subscriber. Oh, yeah. And predictions for our game against France this weekend? Well, listen, if we're tackling like we've just been taught how to tackle, I'd say we can put 30 points on France. We'll just send them all to the hospital. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that will probably have uncontested scrums, yeah. uncontested lineups. Uh, French rugby players running the opposite direction. Reserve, of running reserve scrum half <laughs> coming on a tight head prop. Why not? Let's, yeah, let's just let's see the chaos that happens there. No, but uh, hoping, for, hoping for a Springbok win? Yeah, mm -hmm. hoping for a Springbok win. Uh, hoping that England gets punished by the All Blacks. Yeah. Um, those are really the only two games I care about. Yeah, uh, Australia is playing this weekend. Yeah, but it's Australia. They're going to lose. Yeah. Who they playing? Either Wales or Ireland. They're going to lose. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Argue with us in the comments if you like. Yeah, and just hit the bell icon for notifications. And remember to like for Hoot. Yep, yeah, like for Hoot. See you Bye. next week, cheers.